So LeBron James and Naomi Osaka, two people who have been known for mental weakness, uh, have decided to partner up. But unfortunately, it looks like people in Africa may not like what they're doing together. Naomi Osaka partnership with LeBron James creates controversy due to explicit translation of company name. Osaka's launching a new media company in collaboration with LeBron's media group. Uh, it says that her production company called Hanakuma will produce scripted and nonfiction content. Uh, the announcement of the partnership created some controversy, but not because they're teaming up on the subject matter that, or the subject matter. The name of the four-time Grand Slam Champions production company uh, is, in Japanese, it means flower bear. That's what Hanakuma means. But in Swahili, it has a much different meaning. Hanakuma in Swahili translates to woman without a vagina. The explicit translation sparked outrage and caused it to trend in several African countries. Amazing lack of research. Lots of money, but that brand won't fly in Africa. Let it stay in America and Japan. It's offensive. Do you even have a clue what it means? Get rid of your ego and change the name. Don't have a vagina. That's what it means. God forgive your ignorance. The name Hanakuma in Swahili is very unethical. means not having a vagina. In Swahili, it means a woman that has no vagina. Like Just like tweet after tweet after tweet. Uh, about it <laughs> so it's pretty funny that even when lebron james is like not saying anything stupid or whatever he finds a way <laughs> to find himself in the middle of a big controversy his african brothers do not like the name hanakuma john I, you guys talked it, about this i think what's your take on this whole thing it, isn't it isn't it just calm, calmer right here because yeah this is this isn't even lebron's fault this is naomi osaka's uh company and Naomi Osaka, born in Japan, uh, doesn't speak Japanese, but she got the Japanese name. And then it's just magic how they actually offended black Africans, East Africans, because it translates into <laughs> women without a vagina. Where is Matt Walsh when you need him? I, I was going to say, goodness, like, it's probably the same hilarious. guys that Matt Walsh talked to. They're the ones that are like, what is this yeah. shit? Yeah, if you if you actually look at uh, his documentary, What is a Woman? All of the uh, the white leftists he was interviewing were like, we don't know what a woman is. Those black Africans he was talking to, they were like, yeah, we know exactly what a woman is. And it ain't that woke stuff you guys in America are talking about. This, this is just karma right here to me. It's kind of like Ryan of fast food. It is just karma. Like LeBron really like just, <laughs> he just ended up in this position. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's like hey Naomi I hear, you, I hear you're a fucking woke athlete who's kind of a fucking <laughs> pussy it'd be perfect for you to partner with me what do you want to call it <laughs> Hanakuma sounds good let's do it my African brothers will love that name <laughs> god uh, oh, it, it is an ironic name for LeBron to be involved in when he is a man with a pussy <laughs> 